Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another weekly tip video. One of my favourite things about the Apple TV are the gorgeous 4K screensavers. Well, you'd be glad to know that these are now available for the Mac via an open source project over on GitHub. So in this week's tip video, I'm going to show you how to download, install and configure Aerial screensavers on your Mac. So this is the page across on GitHub. Now I will put a link in the show notes. Uh, if you want to see the URL in the bar, by the way, if you go to Safari Preferences and then under Advanced, Show Full Website Address, that's switched off by default in macOS Mojave, but we'll just leave that on. So you can see it's github.com slash John Coates slash Arial. And John Coates is the developer who created the open source project and the project is maintained by a small band of developers, all of which is detailed on this GitHub page. Now, because it's on GitHub and GitHub is a development website, there is all the source material. So if you wanted to download it and have a look at the code, or if you wanted to download and install it in Xcode and make your own packages, you can do, um, but I'm not going to do that. There is a readme file telling you all about it. So it's a Mac screensaver based on the new Apple TV screensavers. Uh, displaying aerial movies that also includes the new ISS videos available as well. Some links for alternatives for Windows users and Linux users. This is the small team that uh, have contributed to the project, but down here we have installation. So two ways to install it. One is a manual installation, which I'll show you today. The other is to install it via a system called Brewcask. So there are some options down here for Brewcast, which is a terminal based system. I'm going to go ahead and just use the manual installation. Pretty straightforward. We download a zip file, we unpack it, and then we run it. First off, just make sure that uh, system preferences is closed. I've currently got it open, so I'm going to close system preferences. I'm going to download the latest release of aerialsaver.zip. Okay, this takes me to a new page, just gives me some information about it. And then there we go, there is aerialsaver.zip. Downloaded, go to here, we'll open it up in the finder. My Safari setup is to unpack zip files by default, so it's unpacked it for us already. This is the file, Arial Saver. If I just double click this, the Arial screensaver must be installed before you can use it. I'm just going to install it for this user only. So we'll go ahead and say install. And basically that is it. It's open system preferences. It's dropped me into desktop and screensaver. In fact, let me just go back a level. So it's opened this option here, desktop and screensaver, and gone across to the screensaver tab. If I scroll down, down at the bottom, we have Arial. Now, as you can see, um, it's got this beautiful uh, Greenland landscape in front of me now. So this is showing me a preview, but there are tons and tons of options. So let's go ahead and have a look at some of these screensaver options. If I click on screensaver options, I've minimized the other windows behind this panel uh, just so we can focus in on the options. So in this panel here, we have all the different videos available to us. Uh, these are categorized by location. So Antarctica, China, Dubai, night. These are all 4K videos as well. This little symbol means we can download the video. By default, these videos will display without you downloading them. They will stream to your machine, but as they stream, they will be cached to your hard drive. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.